Look what I find there, like a robot family, like daddy robot, mama robot, and baby robot. So cool, this little one is so awesome. Look at this. Maybe I should bring it home or something. All right, guys, let's pump back to the studio. I'm Leon and I'm back again. Today we're gonna talk about some microphone that I just tested. Uh, no, I didn't test it. Well, I tested it, but I bought it to test it or use it. Like, you know, to start with, I'm not sponsored at all. I bought it myself and I'm gonna give this information just straight to you and I'm totally honest. Maybe you have some other opinions about it. Maybe it's great, good for you. This is gonna be a rant. It, it's gonna be a rant. Uh, and I can also rant if I'm sponsored by a brand because I think brands should stand behind the brand, if you know what I mean. If they have like stuff that is not really good, they should say like, hey, thanks for the feedback, we fixed that. If you're sending me stuff, I can rant it. So don't be so sure that I'm gonna rave about it. Like all the other tubers do, they are like, oh, well, this is amazing, whoa. But they don't say that they are sponsored. So I'm honest, I'm not sponsored. With that said, I wanted a microphone that was simple to use with my GoPro and I want a small shotgun mic uh, because the built-in microphones is not that good and if you put a shotgun on it's gonna be awesome if you talk a lot, like I do, I love to talk, you know, already know that. So I was out on, on the net and found out there's several options out there. You have Rede and you have Boya, which was kind of, you know, in the price under $100 or 100 euros if you like to. It came up that I wanna test Boya because it's have more button in it and I don't like to have so much of, of the high ends. The Boya, as I could read, was great. I decided to buy this Boya, this one, for 40 euros. That's, that's cheap. And you know, when it comes to sound, if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. It was cool because, you know, it came with everything you needed. Two cables and you, you have like um, the, the windshield, the dead cat thing, you know, yeah. And the mic was, was solid. But here comes the rant. How the, no, just kidding. How can they sell stuff that are so fragile? Look at this. This is the microphone, you see? This is the dead cat I talked about. I can take it away. And now you have the microphone. Nice, it's perfect when it comes to size. And to attach this mic, you need to have a placer so you can see, hold it up, you see? Now it goes down easy, do you know why? Because this stupid thing is made in plastic. It should not be made in plastic. You should have like arms and some rubber bands. So it's rubber band hold instead. But not in Boya's world, they make it in hard plastic. So when you put down the microphone, you literally crack, crack this ring here in two pieces. So this one is useless. You can't use this one, it's useless. How can you sell stuff that you can't use? What should I do with the microphone? Hang it, put it like, go around and hold it. That's not how it's supposed to be. So the microphone becomes kind of useless because of this. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you glue it because next time you go there, it will crack again because it's too small. And the funny thing is, I went back to the store with it and say, hey guys, this didn't work out for me. Can you have another one? They say like, yeah, no problem. So they were very supportive. I took down another package. I said like, can I open it up and try to, you know, mount the microphone into the stand? And they were like, well, why not? So I did it, bang, crashed another one. The dude was like, wow, huh. So he took down another microphone and did the same thing as I did, cracked it. Why is it made like this? Well, this is, Actually, the purpose of it is actually to avoid vibrations from a camera into your microphone. If you're walking, for example, you, 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 your microphone moves and you get vibrations. So you don't want that in, in your sound. So that's the purpose of it. But that's also the purpose of why you should have rubber bands instead. Because if you mount something that is solid to another solid piece, it will get vibrations. So this is useless. It's bullshit. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah I can say it. This is bullshit. This should not ever be made. I'm so disappointed at this. Why did I bought it? Well, quick fix, you know. 
duct tape. I will duct tape this to place and it looks terrible. But that's, I mean, that's probably where it's supposed to be. If you pay sheep, you get monkeys. That's, this is a monkey. And all the ravers out there, they rave, oh, it's awesome, it's like the best. They are sponsored and they sponsored bullshit. They never mentioned this one, never. The sound is okay, but it's not awesome. I just want to be clear about that. It's not awesome sound, it's okay. Let's stay with that. The red microphone sounds a little bit crispier. It does, and it also comes with a better mount for it. This mount is crap, totally crap. So, boya, go home and do your homework. Come up with a better, and well, maybe I can rave about boya someday too. It is cheap. So if you're looking for cheap crap that don't work, buy this. Well, the mic works. It sounds great, but the mount, forget about it. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I mean, we are enough now. I ranted this thing down. Don't buy it. Buy it if you want to cry. Buy and cry. That's that's this thing, the buy and cry thing. I should stick to Rode instead because they're kind of similar and they are common, like in compare price, li price line. I think that's like, I don't know, five euros difference or 50. This boy, uh, well, they didn't impress me. Not much. Sorry, guys. All right, that's it for me. Subscribe and like if you want to join into my channel and I update two times a week. Peace, arrivederci. I'm Leon and I'm out. What? <laughs>